that long one today? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, I'd like to report we had the five dollar budget month, the month of April, uh, over the tree, block and road, fire line involved. Uh, when we assist the police department on retrieving some cameras, they set up and monitor business or respite that has been broken into. So we uh, assist them with taking them down. Uh, we had two independent trash fires, we had smell of gas in a uh, business that turned out to be Nothing. Um, we've gotten, we applied for uh, uh, water donations from National Waters, um, Pepsi, Coca Cola, and Wind Dixie. Uh, National turned us down. We got 10 cases of water from Coca Cola, we got 5 cases from Pepsi, we got 15 cases from Wind Dixie. So we'll share this water with the police department and the maintenance department. They'll be able to, you know, Use it as they need it. We understand that this kind of heat and all the best and all that they run through heat stretches like we do when we fire things. So we made this more available to all of them. Um, the payment grant that we applied for back in December of last year for, I think it was right at $41,000 for a cascade system, which would allow us to fill our own air bottles. I'll say word that they're being that they're under review. And this is usually the time of year that we uh, find out when we got them out. So I'm hoping to got my fingers crossed that Nick wants up here before that, that grant should have been approved or denied. Um, we got congressional support from my two senators, uh, sent letters into them, so I feel good about our chances of getting that. Um, our firefighters that are in uh, school right now, like I told y'all at the last meeting, we got more than. Um, at the fire academy to been up where uh, we complete next week will be eight weeks. Uh, he's passed everything his graduation will be uh, I think it's next Thursday. Uh, we got another one here taking it locally. He's been in class for over six months uh, because they do it two nights a week and every other Saturday. So it's taking him a little longer. Uh, upon, upon their completion and graduation, I plan to present them to council at the July City Council meeting will issued their badges to them. Is that the one-on-one report? -on -one well, it's firefighter board now. Okay. So, uh, briefly, we've been looking at rescue tools, and, and the only reason uh, this has come up is because of our neighbor fire department station three with the county of Twin Lakes. Their rescue truck went down back in December. It's been down since then. They've had to do all the rescue stuff to their ladder truck. Uh, that truck runs probably 75% of their calls on this end. So the chances of us, we, we've always had, we, we've got a set of uh, tools, uh, jaws, but they're an old set, they're back in the mid 80s. They just won't cut the new metals in the day's cars. So we've always kind of relied on them to come help us if we had an extra case of calls, somebody was trapped. But uh, being that they've had to move these tools over to their truck, to their ladder truck, the, uh, Possibility of us needing them to be on another call is greatly increased. So we've been looking, we understand that, that the cost of these tools are expensive, and we're looking at alternative ways to fund them. So we'll continue to look at that. The mayor was on one of the administrations here the other Thursday. He's seen how they work, but uh, they are expensive. Right at between $26,000 and $29,000. Yes, ma'am. Um, and they are the uh, ones that I saw in the USA and the uh, service contract on them. So if something happens to them, they could do a runner while they work on the, uh, the, the tool. But you know what really, impressed, what, what really impressed me, and it's not really a good thing, is how pathetic our, our jaws are that we have. They, and it's not because the tool that we have is not working. Said the materials have changed what they're building cars with. Uh, what's that steel called? The boron. The boron steel. Mm -hmm. Just can't cut it. I mean, uh, they took a. Uh, um, really. What was the what was the saw? The saw oh, saw. saw, saw. With a metal blade and barely made a dent in, in some of that boron steel. Uh, they take the jaw, the new jaws and cuts through it like butter. And uh, I understand that when they come up across a vehicle. Now they pretty much try to remove the whole top so that they can provide a person right. and take off the whole roof. And those coats are more <coughs> steel. Our tools are pretty much useless against the group. 
on the later, on the earlier model stuff, you know, sort of the maintenance truck and what, our goal would probably still work, but on the later model stuff, so like your um, car that you drive is one of them. Uh, Super News. Um, Volvo. Volvo is one of the hardest things for us to get into. But all the manufacturers doing this fuel metal culture, it's lighter and it's uh, safer for the people, but on our end, when they do have a bad rig, you know, it's rough when they're trying to get, them, get somebody out to rig the table because it's still so tough. Just to, the old stuff just won't cut it like the mayor said. Our fallback's always been a sawzall, and it won't cut it in in the two days. So you base that on, on people traveling, trying to get them out, you know, within the golden hour, which means that from the time we get called, we get them out here to the hospital, you know. So, like I said, I understand that cost is, is expensive, and we're looking, we've talked to, uh, matter of fact, I talked to them folks seven years today, and they won't, they won't go that high, um, about three grand, all that will do. So we're still looking. So, um, so David, I mean, um, since, like, I mean, the legs, uh, can't assist them, where would that next assistant have to come from? The next person would be Clyde Bill. They've got a full set, but there's, you know, what, 10 miles between us and them, depending on what time of day, and if they've got somebody available. Of course, this time of night, everybody's home, so the chance of getting them would be pretty good. In the daytime, maybe not so much, you know. I'd like to make a motion that we uh, give the chief permission to purchase the equipment that he needs because there is no backup now and um, he needed this when I got on council the first time which would have been three elections ago and he's been very patient and you know we do have Highway 41 running through here right. and a potential for a terrible terrible accident is there. I, I do appreciate that motion and, and council will vote on that motion but I, I would make a suggestion and we wait for David to go through, he's still interviewing companies um, and pricing them out and, and getting, probably trying to get the best deal and best service, yeah. service is very important. And I gotta stress, you know, this is, this is just me personally, but I was impressed that it was made in the United States and that, you know, um, we need to buy American because, you know, this is where we live. And I'm just so tired of, uh, you know, buying Chinese and, and things that are not. Um, made here, so the made here, the back here, the, the good products. Did they say like twenty nine thousand? Yes, sir. Price uh, we got the other day was all the stuff that we felt like that we needed with them to come to right at twenty eight thousand dollars. How much money have you got put aside for that? I got anything put aside for. I mean, whatever from the budget. The splash thing will cover it. We but got, I think I think we got money in splash six. I think the, uh, the the remainder of your budget was at what thirty. Well, we just got a new, uh, it's about down to 29. Okay, so right. that would probably leave about... Out of point. <coughs> okay, so... Here's the thing, we have the railroad tracks, we have all these little tracks here that don't have the things that come back. That's right. And if someone were not to really get hit by a train, he could have gotten out. Miss Andy, how much money we got in that spot that we talking about? Fifty-two, sixty-two thousand, six almost sixty-three thousand. That's for the fire department. That for everything. Do we? I don't have it broken down right here, but let, let me let me ask this question: Do we need every piece that's in that kit? That's the jaws, spreaders, spreaders, spreaders and the power the, unit, and the hose to connect them. And the, and that one. And the uh, over that runs along. Right, right. 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 That we got to have. I mean, that, that's the basis, you know. Um, and how many more companies are you going to look at? Uh, three more. Uh, Macho coming next month, Macho Tools coming next month, um, Amicus and Perth. So, so, so far, we're looking at and t in Genesis. And we're trying to just see what's out there, what's the best <coughs> tool, because I realize this is an expensive, uh, an expensive in the city. And we want something that whatever we buy, that 10 years from now, could have still been the same job. We don't want to be standing before council in five years and say, well, we bought these tools five years ago, but now they won't do what we need them to do. We expect these tools to last just 20 years if they're, if we were to make the purchase. But we're looking, we're even looking at, you know, some of the dealers who got demo tools, you know, which means that they've shown them and they got a little wear on them, but they still got the same warranty and uh, some of them a little cheaper. So we're looking at that too. We're, we're trying to find absolutely the best way 
for the city that will serve the city and save the city's money too. My concern is you have no backup. You have right. no coverage. I mean, and, I mean, it's, you know, if you go out there, you might as well not go. There's nothing you can. Miss Sandy, may I, may I uh, amend your motion? Sure. Uh, that we uh, give the chief the chance to bring all these different folks in and that we have a call meeting sometime before the next council meeting when we have all of them here and then we can look at it and go from there. And can I also add something to your uh, yes, sir. I can't add it, but it's suggested. Uh, council come out and, and look at some of these demonstrations. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah, come on out there. This is going to be absolutely. It's, it's, it's amazing stuff that they, that they can do. So if you can contact the council the one you have to keep yeah. them out. Matter of fact, I'll get the first one. He called me Sunday. I'll have him come back. Jim, Mr. Chris, he told me I'll have them come back. Oh, he said he'd be glad to come back. So it's okay, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Okay. So we have a motion. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to reiterate? Yeah. Okay, I believe. Would you like to restate your motion? That we uh, give the chain, chief a chance to get all the different uh, quotes in. And he bring, can bring it before the council and call a meeting before the next council meeting. To be called. We let him set the time before the next council meeting. And that we ask the council to come by and see some of these two meetings. Yeah, I'll let you go ahead. Uh, okay. So we have a motion. Do we have a second? No second. Motion. We have a second. Discussion? All in favor? It was uh, uh, Sandy. Let's give that to Miss Sandy. It's Burke's motion. Just right. Burke's motion. So I do. Just Burke's motion. Saying just what you want, and then Burke the motion. Who seconded that motion? Paul. Oh. <coughs> <coughs> yeah. Okay. Thank you. Um, we're going to go into citizens' concerns, but before we do, I'd like to recognize.